Hey there, WordPress friends. Today, we're gonna dive into the wonderful world of text formatting in the WordPress block editor. You know, it sounds kind of boring, but if you want your words to stand out, captivate your readers, and leave a lasting impression, then you are in luck today. Let's get ready to unleash the full potential of your content with formatting your text and a little bit of wizardry, if you will. First impressions do matter, and that's why text formatting is an essential skill in your content creation toolbox. Let's walk through some simple, easy, powerful ways to style and format a text like a pro. As you can see, we're still on our demo site, and we've got all this just lorem ipsum text, and we've got different um, different types of headings, we've got different lists, we've got things like that. And so what I wanna show you today is just a couple ways of how to format our information. Let's look at this, the, we'll, we'll look right here. This is our H5 tag right now. Now it looks like we can only bold and italicize and put links and even a few more things in this little drawer here where you can highlight or choose a color or a few other things like that. But there's actually a whole lot more that you can do in the block settings bar. And that is found over in the toolbar. So we got to first open up the toolbar. So that is right here. And then by default, you might be seeing the post detail. So you're seeing if it is a public post and all of this great information. But we want to head on over to the block so we can look at the block settings. Within the block settings, we can see all the different things that are there. And so if we wanted to change the text color, we can click on text color and it's obviously changed the color. Let's go ahead and make that orange because orange is my favorite color. And we also can change the background if we wanted to. We want to make that really bold and stand out. We can do something like that. This is um, a good Halloween type color. And if we had links in that section, we could highlight and we could create a link color. We also have always paying special attention to these little three dots. They appear everywhere across the WordPress dashboard and they can give you a few more different options. So like if we wanted to reset our background to the default, we could just click there and gone is the black. Kind of like the way the black made it pop. So let's bring that back. Now down here, we've got some typography things. So if we wanted to make that really small, we can make it smaller. We can make it extra, extra large. That doesn't make any sense, but you could definitely do that. Also, you can change the case. If you wanted it to be a title case, you could do this. You can make it all uppercase, or you can make it exactly the way that it was typed. Any of these choices are exactly, you just pick the ones that's gonna work best for you. We also, again, have this three dots. These are the, all the typography options, and we can see font size, appearance, and then we've got font family, we've got line height and spacing and decoration. So we can do all of those things. You have to click on one and then it'll open up the panel. So we can see that one's got a checkbox. We can do font family. That's got a checkbox and we can do the letter spacing and that's got a checkbox. And then we can just go ahead and close that back up and we can look at our appearance and we can see default. So we can see if the font has a different thickness. So we can do light, extra light, things like that. We can do different letter spacing. So if we put in 10 pixels, it's gonna make things very much stretched. That doesn't look very good. We could also do underlines. So we can underline the text. It's kind of hard to see there with the, the red underlines of the incorrect text, but that is there. We also have the ability to look at padding and margin. These all things used to be done with CSS and is no longer needed with CSS. So we can make more padding so we can make it just kind of spread out like this a little bit more. We have margin and margin is on the outside. And so we can say like, oh, we want it more to look like that and kind of stands out a little bit more. Now you see, I, I clicked off the block menu and now all of this goes back to our post so we can see all the details for our post. The other thing that you can do is you can lock this toolbar. And so if you go up to the three dots up here, you can use top toolbar and we can click on that and it's gonna put the toolbar up there. So every time you click, it's gonna change, but it's gonna be up there. I personally like the hover and it just kind of shows up where you want it. All right, friends, that is going to do it for this episode. You've mastered the art now of text formatting inside the WordPress block editor. It is so much easier than it was with the old school classic editor. By just following some of these techniques and looking for those three dots, you can go and you can highlight and you can customize your content to your heart's content. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting WordPress tips and tricks. Share this video with some friends of yours that are use WordPress and help them supercharge their content too. Remember your content's appearance is just as important as its substance. So until next time, keep crafting amazing content and keep rocking that WordPress block editor. This is Dustin Hartzler signing off.